All right, guys. Well, it looks like we got a lot of baggies. So let's get to work. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. It's Burfy Burf. It's Saturday morning, y'all, and I'm sitting outside Craptastic Sam's Plaza Thrift in McKinney, Texas. I'm about to head in there and see what kind of Saturday morning goodies they got. The last time I was here was with Nicole and Caroline the Greatest and I uh, pulled some bags of crap out of here. However, however, I did score a 1993 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that was like a jump kick turtle or something like that. So what we thought was not a vintage toy ended up being a 90s vintage toy. So how cool is that? So we're gonna head in there and hopefully we find some more vintage on the shelves today. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray that the thrift gods are good to me today and that your boy walks out of here with some amazing scores. Let's check it out. All right, let's see what do we got in the glass case. Oh, look at those Mario Karts. We might have to check the price on that. Those are cool. And I don't really see anything else. All right, guys, well, it looks like we got a lot of baggies. So let's get to work. All right, pace yourself because you're gonna have to do this all day for very little money. All right, well, right out the gate, we got this Batman action figure. We also have a Ms. Pac-Man arcade game. Pac-Man! Anything else? No, but that might be a possibility. And what do we got down here? We got like some sort of action figure. Uh, there's another one, it's like a fireman or something. And back here we've got a Transformer Bumblebee, another Transformer right there. This bag has an Iron Man in it. Friday? What do we got down here? Looks like a bag of like accessories or something. I like this bag right here just because of these barrels. These would make, these would be really, really cool for like dioramas and stuff. And what do we got here? I'm not exactly sure. And this bag, we have like a big brown army man. We've got these little miniature guys and some ninjas and whatnot. This bag has a dinosaur in it. And we've got some Toy Story stuff. So long, partner. And some Transformers. Oh, here we've got a Power Ranger. It looks like an older one. And not a whole lot else in there, but I dig that. And then we got this bag, which has a bunch of dinosaurs in it. There's a Stegosaurus. <laughs> All right, guys, so I decided to get this bag with this Power Ranger in it. I saw that he recently sold for about 10 bucks, so I can get him for $2.42. And in the meantime, let's check the shelves and see what kind of goodies we can find. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got like a LeBron and some sort of Batmobile. Looks like it might be like maybe a remote control. It's kind of cool though. And what's this Power Ranger? Oh, check out this dude down here, this dinosaur. Oh, he's got a broken tail. Oh, that's neat though. Man, I wish it wasn't broken. And yeah, we got some Disney. This guy's pretty big. I can't remember his name. Oh, yeah, looks like we got a die cast nationwide stock car. Oh, who do we got back here? Who's this? Star Lord. Raised from youth by a band of mercenaries called the Ravagers, led by Yandu Udanta. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't know how this machine worked. I think this one actually talks. That's cool. All right. Well, dang. Super windy out today. <sighs> dang. They said uh, wind is like 25 to 30 miles an hour a day with up to 55 mile an hour gusts. So let me show you what I got. All right, so this is the gold Power Ranger that I picked up. I got him for $2.42, recently sold for $10 on eBay. Everything else in the bag was just absolute garbage, but I really wanted this guy. He doesn't have much articulation. His arms simply move forward and backward, and that's it. His head doesn't turn, his legs don't move. 
In fact, if we come down and look here, we can see, see how the back part of his heel is lifted up. I may have to actually heat him up a little bit, put him in some like warm water, some like, you know, hot water and actually bend his legs back so that they're not, uh, so that he stands more easily. Let's just put it that way. Cause I had a hard time getting him to stand right here, but it's a really cool figure. All right, guys. So my plan is to hit up another thrift store over in Plano. So we're going to start heading that way. Now there is an antiques mall, uh, an antique mall over in Allen on the way there. So I'm going to stop there to see if they're open. If they are, we'll take a look around. If not, then we'll just, uh, you know, I'll just meet up with you at the thrift store. But regardless, let's head that way. Hey, good news. They're open. So let's head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. Oh, cool. Look at all these collectibles here. I like those Clydesdales. What is that? Is that like Amigo? The Lone? Oh, it's Lo the Lone Ranger. Oh, very cool. And a Texaco baby doll. Up here we've got some Marvel and Lego stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these Legos. Very, very cool. So here we've got some fine pewter Civil War pieces. Check those out. Oh, look at that. General Lee. Oh, that is so awesome. Get a little look at them from the back here. Yeah, I'm really digging those. What's this? Quest for Camelot. Yeah, it looks like we've got some Dragon Ball Z stuff here. Oh, look at this Ghost Rider. Oh man, what do they want? I wonder how much they want for that. I might have to get that. Uh, it looks like it might be 20 bucks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab this. I do believe that is CW Fields. Oh, look at that Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, it looks like he's got articulation and everything. Oh man, Gigi would love these. Look at those Elvises, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. And then over here we've got like a, oh, that's Prince Charles actually. Interesting. And we've got some more Elvis memorabilia over here. Wow, look at these old toys. Some, what are these, Tinker Toys, Fisher Price Jalopy, that's awesome. Now that is a different version of the Burger King I've never seen before, <laughs> look at that. And looks like we got a Roy Rogers lunchbox and also some Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarf figures. That Hopalong Cassidy lunchbox is really cool. Oh, look at this G.I. Joe lunchbox. I wonder if it's old or it's a, like a remake of it, you know? This Popeye tin, I don't know what this is. It's neat though, I like the artwork on it. Oh, they got this giant size Conan the Barbarian. And check out this G.I. Joe comic as well. And some Avengers. Man, I love these vintage Mickey Mouses. This is a bank right here. And they even have a plush. Oh man, look at this Orphan Annie doll. with Annie in it. Amazing. And here's the box that it comes in. Oh, they've got a Turbo Man, and then they have a Mini Me. He's my special boy! That's cool. Bunch of dolls. There's even a turtle mint on card. The Wolfman Turtle, I think is what it says. It's got a little bit of a glare. We've got the Flintstones, Fred and Barney from the movie. Dr. Hans Reinhardt from the Black Hole. And here's some more figures from the Black Hole. This is uh, Charles Pizer. <laughs> Boy George. Oh, that's funny. That's actually a Fat Albert doll. Oh man, I had this sugar bear when I was a kid. I might have to, I only want a dollar for it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, check this out. It's an ALF. All right, I gotta get this too. Looks like these things are all a dollar. You're a liar! Liar, liar, pants on fire! Oh, check this out, this Dr. Octopus. 
I've never seen that before. They have some Star Trek in here. My buddy Keith would love this. Uh, Keith, you should get over here, dude. If you're watching this, you should get over here and pick these things up. Oh, man, the Rifleman. Oh, I love that show. Here's Bones, some more Star Trek. Oh, look, we got a Buffalo Bill Cody. I really like his outfit. Here we've got an Empire Strikes Back Luke and Dwight Eisenhower, General Eisenhower. Here's a Lone Ranger Tonto and a Hallmark Davy Crockett. <laughs> Mark Twain. Oh, I had no idea that was a Buck Rogers doll. Indiana Jones, it's the Cairo Swordsman. Oh, and it's Big Boy. Oh, that is a cool one. There's a big world out there, and it's up for sale. All of it. All we gotta do is make sure that the people know I'm the one big enough to run it. Well, I only want 10 bucks for that. I might pick that up. Hey, check out these vintage strawberry shortcake dolls. Strawberry shortcake and orange blossom. Oh, we also have a lemon meringue. And then under orange blossom, we've got apple dumpling. Oh, look at this Peter Pan record. Man, that looks old. Well, these little Snoopy figures are cool. He's actually made out of rubber. This one's like ceramic. It's like a pencil holder. All right, guys, I picked up a few scores. And uh, thing was, I wasn't actually allowed to film in there. I was filming, I had just turned the camera off and this lady came out of nowhere and she's like, excuse me, sir, sir, you can't film in here. You can take pictures, but you can't film. And I was like, oh, okay. But obviously I went ahead and filmed anyway. So because I have a duty to my subscribers, I gotta make sure I show you guys all the good stuff. So anyway, let's do a little show and tell and I'll show you exactly what I picked up. All right, first up, I picked up this Sugar Bear plush that you could only get inside a box of Sugar Smacks when I was a kid. And I had this little bear and man, I freaking loved this thing. I played with it all the time. So I was really pleasantly surprised to see this. I haven't seen one of these in like 40 years. So it's been a long time, uh, but man, he's super cool and I'm glad I found him. Next up, I picked up these Kids Mill toys of ALF. It's like ALF like in a genie outfit, I guess. And this must be some sort of Shakespearean ALF. A rose by any other name would not smell as sweet, or however that goes. But yeah, these figures are really cool. So I picked these up because I do, I do love me some ALF. And then I also picked up this Kids Mill toy. This is really vintage. This is a McDonald's tic-tac-toe game. So it's really cool. It's got Grimace and Ronald on it. And then here is our board. Tic-tac-mac is what it's called. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was fun. It was only a dollar, so I picked it up. I also picked up this Dick Tracy Big Boy Capri doll. And this thing is really cool. It actually still has the tags and I just love the face sculpt on it. It's very much in tune with the movie character and, uh, oh, what's his face? The guy that played Scarface. What was his name? Al Pacino, yes. So I absolutely love this. I thought it was cool and I can't wait to get him home and set him on my shelf. And I also came across this Dick Tracy flat top figure as well. He was also $10, they were both uh, $10 each. He actually has a squishy head, which I love. And just look at that mug, man. That is a face that only a mother could love. All right, guys, we got one more thrift store to hit up before we call it a day. So let's head that way. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> Final destination. Let's head in here, see what kind of goodies they got. Keep our fingers crossed and pray that the thrift gods are good to me today. All right, well, it looks like we got lots of bags. So let's rummage through these things. Here we've got a tiger and a giraffe. And what's in this bag? A bunch of garbage, really. Some sort of action figure right there. And we got a rescue heroes figure here. Looks like some sort of police officer. Oh, check out this Spider-Man vehicle. That's pretty awesome. 
Alright, what do we got in this bag? We got a lot of farm animals. Looks like some sort of bendable Power Ranger. And what's in this one? We've got a Captain America right here. Uh, some dinosaurs. And we've got a bee. There's like a Spider-Man right here. And then some sort of other action figure. And we do have a Michelangelo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And as far as this bag goes, we got a Mickey Mouse. It looks like some knights. And I'm not really seeing anything else. Oh, check it out. It's Manta. All right, I think we might have to pick this guy up. And we've got another TMNT in here. We've got a penguin. Uh, looks like a Batman. Too bad the TMNTs weren't in the same bag. All right, guys. He is $3.99. I actually have one of these at home already, but see these tubes? Mine are broken, so it'll be nice to have one that isn't broken in my collection. So I'm gonna snag him and then I'll meet you out at the car. Oh, check this bag out. We got some some bendables. We got a Wonder Woman. Looks like we have a Batman in there, a Green Lantern. Oh, there's a Superman. All right, I think I'm gonna grab this bag too. All right, guys, so I picked up a few cool scores, so let's do a little show and tell. All right, guys, first up, I showed you this guy in the store, and the reason I got him, again, is because his tubes aren't all busted up. I really loved the figure that I had, but it's always bothered me that his tubes were broken off, so I'm glad I came across this one. All right, guys, up next, I got these bendables. I got Green Lantern. I got the batman i've got soups and i've got wonder woman how cool are these the only thing that's wrong with them is superman's cape is a little ripped in the back other than that these things are in really great condition and i can't wait to add them to my collection all right now this was an unexpected score i actually have to do a little research I have no idea who these figures are, but as I pulled them out of the bag, I was like, man, these things are like really cool. And they actually make noise. They have these little buttons. He needs some batteries, but you can kind of tell that, that he would make some noise. But again, I have no idea what line these figures are from. Gosh, I think they're cool. I think they're really cool. Like his arms, like his hands fold up like this. I think maybe his jaw opens. I got to play around with them a little bit, but th I think this is a really cool score and I'm not a hundred percent, but I got a feeling they might be worth a little money. They're just so unique. I've, I've never, I've never seen them before. Maybe you guys can help me out and let me know in the comments below who these guys are. So I think my favorite one though, my favorite one is this one. I really like this one. And then this abominable snowman guy. So I can't wait to get some batteries plugged into them and see what kind of sounds they make. But hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That like button is the most important thing you can do for me. It lets YouTube know that you like the content and that increases my chances of getting my content out to more people. So if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the episodes just smash the like button also leave a comment let me know was there anything that you saw today that you would have picked up that maybe i didn't grab also give me a follow on instagram and tickety talk at 80s toys rock and rock is spelled r o c in the meantime i'll catch you on the flip side